The optics used in rifle scopes haven't changed in over a hundred years. So, U.S. Special Forces requested a compact zoom rifle scope, capable of rapidly toggling between magnifications at the push of a button without moving your hands from the rifle or your eye from the target. In response, the engineers at Sandia National Laboratories designed Razor, rapid adaptive zoom for assault rifles. Traditional rifle scopes, zoom rifle scopes, magnify the scene to varying degrees uh, by moving lenses axially uh, relative to one another. So the rifle scope that we developed in response to the need that, that we saw was based on the concept that rather than moving the lenses relative to one another, let's change the focal length of those lenses. Adaptive zoom is a revolutionary method of accomplishing true optical zoom by varying the focal lengths of the optical elements. The muscles around the human eye change the shape of the lens to change the focal length from far to near. Razor uses polymer in a similar fashion. This is a simulation of the deflection of the polymer membrane under actuation. By being able to change the radius of curvature of these lenses with a small actuation displacement of this plunger, we're able to realize a fairly large change in the radius of curvature or the focal length of the lens. That allows us to create a, a rifle scope system with a, a dynamic zoom. This is a leap ahead technology. This liquid lens technology allows us to do is to take something that could be as, as big as our current optics and increase the performance, you know, five, tenfold. Uh, the fact that this leap ahead technology was done on a shoestring budget uh, is a testament to Dr. Bagwell and his dedicated team of engineers at Sandia National Labs. Um, truly a, a monumental achievement. The adaptive uh, zoom rifle scope that we, we eventually wound up building um, resulted in a, a relatively um, short form factor, uh, but the real benefit uh, of, the, of the push button zoom rifle scope was just that, push button zoom. Um, we, the system that we eventually tested with um, U.S. Army Special Forces allowed them to at instantaneously, and by that I mean a tenth or two tenths of a second, push a button, change their their field of view, um, either wide field of view that allowed them to uh, be situationally aware, um, or narrow field of view, high magnification for target engagement. I was able to actually be on the weapon system and looking at a, a, a near target 25 meters away and engage it with multiple shots and then instantly zoom in on a target that was 100 meters away and engage it within seconds versus having to go up and, and on that one power and if I needed to magnify, take my hand off the weapon, um, zoom in and then engage it. it, it the, the, the difference you know that can make, especially when somebody's shooting back, could mean life or death. So it's, it's game changing in that, in that capacity. The direct view technology developed by Sandia provides a large, clear aperture and the required optical quality. The mechanical movement needed to change the focal length requires very little power. The Razor can perform 10,000 actuations on two AA batteries. It's very fast and the optic continues to function even when there aren't batteries. So you can continue, um, you know, should you lose power, you still have a rifle scope unlike a camera-based system. And this technology is ideal for any imaging system that requires extremely fast, variable magnification, but is limited by size, weight, and power constraints. Uh, we're currently developing lenses in the near-infrared, short-wave infrared, and mid-wave infrared. Um, again, primarily for DOD purposes right now, but um, uh, the commercial applications of this technology Anywhere where you want to uh, zoom in on, a, on uh, an object for an imaging application, be it a, a camera-based system uh, for security purposes, CCTVs, uh, night vision equipment for commercial use, binoculars or spotting scopes for um, hunting or bird watching. Anywhere that, that you want to zoom, 
uh, this technology has the potential to be applicable.